tempting your fate with this delicacy. Mace, it's what's on the menu. And you mean to tell me fruit can send you to the hospital? Today, we're breaking down a very serious topic. Some of the world's most dangerous foods. All right, let's dive right in. Number 10, fugu, the Japanese delicacy. But don't be fooled by its seemingly simple sushi-esque look. This pufferfish packs a serious punch with tetrodotoxin, a poison more deadly than cyanide. Prepared by the most skilled chefs, it's still a culinary gamble. One wrong cut and you're in for numbness, paralysis, and without quick medical help, possibly even death within hours. Talk about a risky bite. In Japan, chefs undergo rigorous training and certification to prepare fugu. The thrill of eating something so dangerous makes it a sought after experience, but it's a risk that demands respect, expertise, and maybe even medical attention, but hopefully not. Number nine, cassava. This root vegetable is a staple in many diets, but beware of its bitter version. It contains cyanogenic glycosides or bioactive plant products derived from amino acids that, to put it simply, can release cyanide in your body. Cyanide, for those who aren't familiar, is a potent toxin that can have potential lethal effects when ingested or inhaled. The improper preparation of this deceptively harmless root can lead to symptoms like headache, vomiting, and if untreated, can and be fatal. While it's challenging to specify an exact amount that is universally toxic, it is generally understood that consumption of improperly processed bitter cassava can lead to acute cyanide poisoning. Symptoms can occur with as little as 20 to 50 milligrams of cyanide per an average adult. Number eight, Aki. All right, who has been to Jamaica? Or maybe you live there now. If so, thanks for watching. But I also have to warn you about number eight. It's called Aki, Jamaica's national fruit. This fruit is not all sunshine and beaches, especially if you get a hold of an immature Aki on your plate. You see, the unripe fruit rinds and seeds contain hypoglycin A. This is a naturally occurring amino acid that is toxic if ingested and can lead to Jamaican vomiting sickness. Symptoms include severe vomiting, hypoglycemia, altered mental status, seizures, and even death. So remember, timing is everything. Only eat a key when it's fully ripe and properly prepared. The fruit is safer to eat when its protective pods turn red and open naturally. Number seven, rhubarb leaves. They contain oxalic acid, which for the record can cause kidney stones and in large amounts, kidney failure. And a condition in which the kidneys lose the ability to remove waste and balance fluids in the body. So accidental ingestion of rhubarb leaves, symptoms start with burning in the mouth and throat, progressing to breathing difficulties and possibly even seizures. The leaves are often overlooked in home gardens as a potential hazard, especially in areas where rhubarb is commonly grown. So remember, stick to the stalk for your pies. The stalks are safe and offer a tart flavor popular in desserts. Number six, elderberries. Our next dangerous food item is a bit of a confusing one. Because on one hand, as of late, you hear it being marketed as a health superfood. And on the other hand, it could put you in the hospital with some severe symptoms. They are called elderberries and they're derived from the Sambucus tree. And they have long been revered for their health benefits. These small dark berries are packed with antioxidants and vitamins that can boost your immune system. As good as all that sounds, uncooked elderberries, leaves, and stems can contain cyanide-inducing glycosides. Eating them can lead to nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and even more severe symptoms that may end up having you come to the ER. Cooking is the key to deactivating these toxins. So yes, elderberries have gained popularity for their syrups, jams, and health benefits, but this serves as a reminder that natural doesn't always mean safe and proper preparation is super important. Talk to your doctor before you start using elderberry supplements. And speaking of supplements, some that are a great option? The ones I took years formulating for you. Life happens, they are fast acting, and you take them only when you need them. Number five, raw almonds. Not the sweet kind you probably grab for a healthy snack, but rather the bitter almonds. Raw bitter almonds contain very high levels of amygdalin, a naturally occurring cyanogenic glycoside compound that converts into hydrocyanic acid in the gut, which to put it simply, is an organic version of the poison cyanide. Even just a handful of raw bitter almonds contains enough of the bad stuff to be fatal, which is why raw bitter almonds are prohibited or hard to come 
come by in certain countries, including the United States. Fortunately, sweet almonds, the ones commonly sold, are safer and delicious. The reason I say safer is that sweet almonds still have some amygdalin in them, but their content of this compound is up to a thousand times lower than that of their bitter almond cousin. Although the sweet almonds do have some health benefits, this serves as a reminder of the fine line between health and danger in the world of natural foods. Number four, sanakji, a Korean dish and tradition of eating live octopus. Yep, this live animal entree, most commonly found in Seoul, features chopped up baby octopus tentacles still moving. Keep in mind, it's not the octopus per se, but rather the suction cups that are actually dangerous. They can stick to your throat, leading to choking. In fact, there are plenty of news articles out there about it. People choking to death when trying to eat the octopus. Always chew thoroughly to avoid this slippery situation, I guess. And maybe also go dining with somebody who is skilled in the Heimlich maneuver. And I'm curious, let me know if you have ever tried live octopus. Number three, hot peppers. Who likes spicy hot peppers? On a scale of one to hot, and we're talking extremely hot, so hot it could kill you, it's probably good to know about the Scoville scale and where your favorite peppers fall on it. For instance, a highly popular jalapeno could range somewhere between 2,500 to 8,000 heat units, whereas the Carolina Reaper, that bad boy, is hitting 2.2 million heat units on the scale. So big, big difference, and it's important to know why why hot peppers might be dangerous for some of you out there that are watching. It's the magic or not so magic, depending on who you ask, an ingredient called capsaicin, the compound that gives them heat. Side effects from peppers, they can cause severe burns in your mouth, throat, stomach, and things like irritation of the eyes or anything that comes in contact with the peppers. And in extreme cases, it can lead to breathing difficulties and even asphyxiation. Moral of the capsaicin story, handle with care and always know your spice tolerance. Number two, nutmeg. In small doses, it's a deliciously flavored spice, but in large amounts, nutmeg can become hallucinogenic. Symptoms include confusion, palpitations, nausea, and in severe cases, convulsion. A little goes a long way with this spice. The psychoactive effects of nutmeg have been known for centuries, but it's rarely used for this purpose due to its unwanted side effects. Also, in addition to its hallucinogenic properties, did you know that nutmeg and mace are related? Yeah, as in the stop a person in their tracks may spray, although they are a bit different. Nutmeg is the seed found inside the ripe fruit of the tree after it's been picked and split open. The lacy membrane that surrounds the seed, once removed and dried, is mace. So make sure you don't mix those up. Number one, green potatoes. Not the Irish kind, but the literal green ones that come from leaving your, say, Yukon gold or whatever type of potato you prefer in the sun too long. You see, they contain solanine, a neurotoxin that could cause gastrointestinal and neurological disorders. Symptoms include nausea, headache, hallucinations, and even death if enough is consumed. A recent study suggested that a 16 ounce full green potato is enough to make a small adult ill. So in this case, definitely don't go green. The green color is a sign of exposure to light and an increase in solanine levels. So always avoid potatoes that have turned green. It's actually a common kitchen hazard that's often overlooked. Remember to keep your spuds safe and store them away from light exposure. This can prevent your potatoes or at least slow down this greening danger. All right, hopefully I was able to provide some medical insight on these 10 dangerous foods you'll want to be aware of. Maybe even share this with your friends and family so they can keep an eye on the foods they are consuming. If you found this video helpful, please do me a favor, check out this playlist right here for other similar videos. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.